Good morning. We are here. We've made it, Katie and I. Katie's in the background there. <laughs> we have made it to Scotland. We drove up the day before yesterday um, and stayed the first night. Was it Loch Loch Lomond? We stayed on the on the wee banks of Bonnie Loch Lomond. Um, we've come up for a two week camping holiday um, where we thought doing it in July and August would be some lovely sunny, well I, I, I thought it would be lovely sunny weather. Katie was a bit, had a bit more forethought and uh, she predicted rain and greyness. These are my expectations. <laughs> these, are, these were her expectations. <laughs> so we woke up this morning with the intent, well today we, we are on Loch Fine, which is world renowned for its seafood. So I thought, what better place to come and try and do some spear fishing and some actual fishing um, and some foraging in the neighbourhood. And that was the plan for today. And it still might be the plan, but it is absolutely tipping it down with rain. And looking at the forecast, it's tipping it down with rain all day until 10 o'clock tonight. So I think we're going to attempt to get the stove lit and get some beans on the go. So we've got something to fuel us up. Um, and then I'm going to try and get in my spearfishing gear and get out there because it hasn't been very windy. Um, so it's actually looking quite still out there. And Kate went for a swim last night. How was that? Very refreshing. Yeah. Was, just, was it clear? You could see? In the shallows it was. It was getting cloudier when it was deeper. Okay. Cloudier when it's deeper. So I guess we'll just see. Hopefully I can discover some lovely Loch Fine uh, scallops or lobster or something else. Maybe I'll see a fish. Who knows? So we're going to fuel up on beans for now. I'll give you a little tour of where we're at whilst the beans are cooking. So I have managed to do a little bit of foraging so far. I found a couple of nice brown birch bullets. I'm going to fry one into the baked beans this morning. See if that adds a bit of flavour. <laughs> Delicious! All right, I'm fueled up. Time to try and struggle into my wetsuit so that I can get out there. Um, trying not to let the rain get me down, but feeling a bit slow. Doesn't help that I can't really have my coffee, but maybe we'll try and head into Inverary after, after lunch sometime and get some coffee. So for now, Enjoy watching me trying to struggle to get into my wetsuit. Bye! So with my wetsuit on, I made my way into the water and despite the poor weather, it was actually quite warm. However, it soon became apparent that the clarity of the water any distance out from the shore was this murky brown orange. After several dives looking around on the bottom, I could tell that it was unlikely that I'd come across any fish today. All I came across were hundreds and hundreds of these little crabs, lots of different species scuttling about. After about an hour of diving, I came across this weird little burrow. So on closer inspection, I discovered a pair of longestine claws sticking out. I soon scared him away and when I dived back down, unfortunately he was gone and I had nothing on me that I could use to try and coax him out. So I left him alone. At one point a seal joined me. He left me well alone though, so I could crack on staring at more crabs. 
After a few hours of diving and seeing nothing but empty shells and crabs, I decided I would leave it for the rest of the day. I did come across several scallop shells which I chucked in my net bag, but on closer inspection when I came back to the shore I realised they weren't heavy filled with scallop, they were heavy filled with sand, which was a bit disappointing. So after a not so successful day of uh, getting out there spearfishing, Katie had a much more successful time collecting all of these. What have we got in here, Katie? You've got a lot of mussels. Models, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Extra and some cockles. To warm my cockles. And then a few whelks hanging out. I think around. the whelks is somewhere in that pot down there, that delicious muddy water. But yeah, so although I might have failed, because it turns out that the uh, scallops. The scallops that I got turned out to not actually, oh, excuse me, and my <laughs> lovely hair now, I just realised I haven't actually addressed that. I find that the midges don't go for my face, they like going in my ears, so I have to wear it like this. And for fashion reasons. <laughs> Katie thinks I look great. You look like a dinner lady. I look like a dinner lady, yeah. But the scallops I got, turns out that they were just empty. Um, my scallop diving leaves something to be desired. I uh, got that nice shot of the Longestine that I also failed to get out of his hole and there were just hundreds of little crabs about and no fish. So instead we're going to have a nice classic dish of mousse marinier. Um, we've got the wine and the garlic to do it. And a bottle of vino to go with it. A nice bottle of red. When you sh we should be having white wine with it really, shouldn't we? We can have both. We can have both. Mix it, get a nice rosé. So we're going to cook those up now. <laughs> oh my god! You have to tell me how it is. Oh. Yeah? It's so good. Tender. <laughs> have you tried the sauce? No. Try try the the creme and the white wine. Oh. That is really good, isn't it's it? <laughs> it's really good. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.